Mac Method Gang. Today we're going to be talking about disappearing and coming back the person you want to become or leading up to that person you're planning on becoming. You don't want to stay stagnant. You don't want to be in the same position you were last year, the year before that, the year before that. A lot of people are in the same position 10 years later, five years later, two years later, whatever. No improvements. Matter of fact, most of the time, most people actually go backwards. They don't even stay in the same spot. They go backwards. We don't want that. We want to disappear and come back better, especially 2025 is coming up. So this is the time where people start making New Year's resolutions, all type of stuff. But that really never works. When you need to get something, you need to get something right away. You need to start playing it out right away. Start executing right away. Don't wait two months to do New Year's resolutions. Don't none of that. If you want to today, you want to start changing your life. You need to start doing this today. So we're going to talk about exactly how to set it up and exactly how to actually execute this. And um, it's simple in the sense of the steps, but it's hard of actually executing. That's the hard part. You know what I mean? Everyone really knows how to do this. The problem is no one's consistent or a lot of the times we are not consistent on what we plan to do. Anyways, so I basically broke it down into three things. The planning phase, execution, and then the comeback, right? So we're going to start with the planning phase. Now, planning phase, what does that mean? Well, we got to plan what we're doing. What is even the point of this? Why are you even trying to disappear? What are your goals? Now, everyone has different goals. Everyone has different you know what I mean? Metrics of success they want to hit. Everyone has a different thing. And so my thing is probably different from your thing. It is what it is. Everyone has a different thing, but the setup is still going to be exactly the same. So it always boils down to what does success mean to me? What does success mean to me is probably different from you, or it might be the same. I don't know. But for the most part, the most general basic thing people will say is, you know, oh, well, I want to be rich or I just want to have money or I just want to be financially free. That's great. We all want that. You know what I mean? That's that means success to me, but we got to get a little bit more specific. We got to go specific. So what does success mean to me? Well, success currently for me means scaling my business to make enough to where I can quit my job, my nine to five job. That's success for me right in this current moment. So it would go right here. What does success mean to me? It means becoming financially independent, basically, is what it boils down to. Becoming financially independent. Independent. And that's where you break this down even more. And that what does this mean? What does becoming financially independent mean? Well, it means quitting my nine to five, right? That would be my thing. At this current moment, that's my definition of success. Obviously, guys, this can change, whatever. So your thing might be different. If it comes to working out, you could easily make this. You could have multiple things up here. I'm just using one example. I, actually, I'll just add this. And also, it means, uh, you know, becoming fit. fit. But what does that mean? What does becoming fit mean? Well, I want to have a six pack and you know big shoulders or something whatever big shoulders so that's something this basic example right this is basically what i'm trying to tell you guys to do is the broad question is what does success mean and then you just go down to what success means to you if it means getting a new car be specific with the car be how much does the car cost whatever as specific as you can get to that current thing because this is really broad what does success mean to me well i just want to be successful i just want to be okay but you need to get a little bit more specific right so that's why i went down to well it means to me becoming financially independent okay but let's break that down a little bit more what does that mean it means quitting my nine to five you know what i mean and then you can even break it down more if you want the more specific you keep breaking it down that the better it is when you start actually executing so that's just a quick little example then if you want to become fit, which if you watch this channel, I always talk about getting in the best shape of your life, this and that. So this definitely should be part of your goals. 
You know what I mean? I say pick three things that you really want to narrow down, really want to focus on, and then execute. And then do the... I just did with three topics. So now another topic would be, you know what I mean? I want to become fit. Okay, what does becoming fit mean to you? Well, it means having a six pack, getting bigger shoulders, getting more muscle. You're getting more specific. You know what I mean? So now that you have a general idea of what success means to you, whatever it means to you, whatever your thing is, do it, set it up like this. Now, since you planned out kind of the goal, it's broad, but it's a bit more specific, more narrowed down. You have like a path. Now we have to actually think about how are we going to get this? Because this is cool. Quitting my nine to five job, right? That's more specific. Having a six pack, big shoulders, having more muscle, that's specific. But we need to actually figure out how we're going to get there. We can't just say this is what we want, but then there's no plan. There's no there's no, you know what I mean, execution phase. That's where this comes in. So now we have to get to this part, which is the roadmap, right? This is still part of the planning phase, the road map. With the roadmap, this is where you get super specific. So we just talked about, I want to quit my nine to five job. Okay. That's great, but how am I gonna quit that job? What am I gonna do to quit the job? Well, I'm gonna, so you wanna you make these kind of really specific. So with YouTube, I wanna make, um, let's just say, I don't know, 1,000 a month, which is not a lot, but I'm just using this for example. I wanna make 1,000 a month on YouTube and 4,000 with coaching. This is just examples, guys. I'm just using this as an example. So let's just put that, right? I want to make 1,000 a month on YouTube, 4,000 with coaching. Okay, so now it's specific, but now we get into how do we do that? How do we get to 1,000 a month on YouTube? Well, if we break this down, we put, I need to make X amount of videos, videos, and garner X amount of views, right? And then that will in turn bring revenue, whatever. But then we can even go even more specific. How are we going to get more views? Well, then we break it down more. Okay, so I have to make this type of video. I have to get more information. I have to be more on point with my videos. I have to be more better with my thumbnails, more better with my titles, captivate the audience more. This, this is what I'm saying. This is my example. Like I said, you can apply this to anything you're doing. You want to just break it down. Keep breaking it down. Keep breaking it down. And it's the same thing for the fit, for getting in shape. You know what I mean? Getting in shape. Okay, cool. We want six pack. We want the big shoulders. But how are we going to get there? Well, we need a gym membership. Gym. Okay, cool. We have the gym membership. But what are we going to actually do to get that? So then that's where you get really specific. Well, I'm going to do this split, whatever split. You know what I mean? Okay, what exact, how am I going to progressive overload? You see what I'm saying? You just keep breaking it down, breaking it down. Or you can even go, okay, I get the gym membership, but I'm going to get a program. I'm going to invest in myself to get a program. Because again, we're disappearing and coming back. So what does that mean? That means we're acquiring new skills. We're acquiring things that is going to propel us forward. Because if we write, even if we write all this stuff down, but we have no, we have no guidance to get to there, or we don't know the proper resources or whatever, it's going to be harder for you to get to that goal because you're not have the tools or you do, but it, you're not getting the right information to get you as fast as possible and get the, you know, proper whatever you're doing. You know what I'm saying? So this could be gym membership and it can be getting, for example, my coaching, pro coaching program and this now you have a program. Okay, this is exactly how I'm going to get my body. You see what I'm saying? It easily broke it down. So I wanted to get in shape. I wanted to get six back abs. I wanted bullet shoulders, whatever. I'm fat right now, but I don't want to just go in there and try to figure this out all on my own. So instead, I'm going to get my membership, Mac Method's membership, and in turn, I'm going to get in shape. He's going to help me get in shape. There we go. Done. Set and done. You already have something that you're investing in yourself and you're going to achieve this if you actually do it. Example, I had to plug myself because why not? But that's just an example on how to do this, right? 
you basically break it down on exactly how you're going to get that goal. For me, it was the YouTube thing. Well, I need to make this videos. I need to make how am I going to title it? How am I going to structure it? Provide more value? This and that. Whatever I'm doing, you get the point. So now, before we even get to the execution, I didn't write this down here because I didn't really have space. So now that we're done with the planning phase, this is actually the next phase, which is mindset. Because without this, nothing's going to be done. Mindset. So your mindset has to be on point. This is major because if your mindset isn't on point, you're not really on the same page. You know what I mean? You might have these delusions of grandeur, all these big ideas, all these big things. But if your mindset is not on point, bro, this is it's not going to work. It's not going to work. So how are you going to get your mindset on point? Well, when you get your mindset on point, you need to basically get rid of your old habits. You need to get rid of your old habits. That's the only way your mindset is going to start developing, right? So let's write it down. Rid of old habits, because part of the reason why you're stuck in these habits is because or part of the reason why you have that mindset that you have is because of your habits. What are you doing? Are you waking up early? Are you having a plan for the day? Are you just playing video games all day? You know what I mean? Are you always negative to yourself? Are you pessimistic to yourself? Do you not trust your abilities? Why don't you trust your abilities? You know, all these things play a role in it because how are you going to execute and do something if you believe, if you don't even believe you can do it? You're not. That's the thing. You're not going to do it because you don't even believe you can do it. So we got to shift the mindset. Once you get a new mindset, you start getting new habits, right? New habits would be waking up early, drinking water, doing this, doing that, having a morning routine, having something that's going to reinforce this new mindset that you're trying to develop. This new mindset you're trying to develop is someone that will actually disappear and come back. Someone that's going to accomplish their goals. The current mindset you have right now isn't that. Your current mindset is that you're just wasting away, floating by through life. Oh, what was me? Victim mentality, all this stuff. And that's never going to get you anywhere. In fact, it's going to take you backwards. It's going to take you backwards, bro. So another thing with developing a new mindset is you're basically rebranding yourself, right? You're rebranding your brain. You're basically wiping your brain out and rebranding it. So like I said, getting rid of the old habits. So if you waste so much time playing video games, you got to stop the video games, bro. You got to limit the video games because the person that you want to become probably isn't playing video games 10 hours a day. If you're beating your meat, you know what I mean? And you're wasting time doing that. The person you want to become probably isn't doing that. It's not probably. He's not doing that, bro. He's actually out here macking without doing that. It, it just comes. It basically comes down to having self-reflection. Let me write this down. Self-reflection. So. This is great. You basically want to um, have a journal pretty much, guys. You have to have a journal because with a journal, you can actually reflect on what you're doing. You'll reflect on your life. Oh, damn, I waste money here. I do this. I do that. I waste time. I procrastinate. Now you know that you do this stuff. OK, how am I going to change that? Well, you know how to change that. OK, well, I need to wake up earlier. I need to stop using my phone. I need to do this. I need to do that. You're going to be able to problem solve where you're at. You know what I mean? That's how you start changing your mindset. And then once you actually start executing these goals, these small wins, these little things that you're doing, because part of the building phase would be having your morning routine, having something that you're going to do that's going to propel you to that ultimate goals. You know what I'm saying? Once you start doing this, your mindset will start to change. It's hard at first, guys, because obviously you're so stuck in your old habits, but that's actually... It just lets you know that you can pick up any habit because you picked up those bad habits. Why can't you pick up good habits? Before, I used to play video games like 16 hours a day. No lie. Like, I, this is back in the day, but I used to play video games like 16 hours a day, bro. Barely ate. You know what I mean? When I did eat, it was ramen noodles. Terrible, 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 terrible. That was a horrible habit. I changed that habit. Now. I don't even play video games. I can't even remember last time I played a single game. And I'm not trying to shit on people that play video games, but I'm just saying like, I knew that the, playing video games for 16 hours a day is not going to get me to my goal. If I was still playing video games 
10 out however long I was playing him all the time, all I cared about. Bro, I, I probably wouldn't even have these subscribers at all. I probably wouldn't have done anything with my YouTube. Bro, nothing. I wouldn't have done it. Or I would be at like 200 subscribers. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be how it is now. And that applies to basically anything. I just use video games as, as an example. So now once we have the mindset, which I always talk about having an untrained mindset, which is being, you know what I mean? It's being not bounded by the self limiting beliefs that you put on yourself we all put these self-limiting beliefs on ourselves we can't do this we can't do that well because of him because of her well you know, he has it better than me or i well he has the, it doesn't matter who has what at the end of the day do you want the goal or not do you want to achieve this or not it doesn't matter if you have a bad hand you can still win with a bad hand people win with bad hands all the time and your hand probably isn't even as bad as the next guy you're just complaining about this because you feel like, oh, well, he has it better than me. Oh, so I might have to, okay, so work harder than him. It's that simple. You can't be stuck in this mindset, this victim mindset talking about, oh, well, uh, he, he has it better. That's not going to help nobody. That's definitely not going to help you. And in, in fact, it's actually going to make you more shit because you're going to, you're basically surrendering all your power. You're basically surrendering all your power, meaning that you can't do it. You literally are saying you can't do it. No matter what happens, you can't do it because of whatever circumstance. Anyway, so let's get to execution. I wrote this here, but now this is all cleared up. So let me just write it big. Now we're at the execution phase. Uh, so this is actually doing it. You know what I mean? Because yes, you can plan everything. You can have the plan. You can have a detailed plan, detailed goals. You can have everything written down. You know what I mean? But if you're not doing it, nothing's going to happen. If no action takes place, nothing's going to happen, bro. You're just going to have a plan with no action. You need to put action. This is the most important thing, actually, is the action mindset and the action, right? So how do we do the action? Well, I was talking a little bit about in the planning phase was having a morning routine. So setting up something that's going to force you to do it. So if you set up a morning routine saying that, oh, well, I'm going to wake up at this time. Let's put 6 a.m. I'm going to make my bed. I'm going to do three things in the morning. I'm going to wake up at 6 a.m. Check. I'm going to make my be bed. I'm going to do that, too. So check. And then I'm going to, you know what I mean? I do 50 ab rollers every single day. So I'm going to put 50. Let's just put 50 push-ups. 50 push-ups. Check. And then I'm going to, I don't know. Uh, it really is up to what you're doing, but let me just put... I'm also gonna drink a glass of water, whatever it is, okay? Let's just put this so for now. So it doesn't have to be this, obviously. I'm just making an example. So 6 a.m., I'm gonna make my bed every morning. I'm gonna do 50 push-ups as soon as I wake up. And I'm gonna go get a drink a glass of water because I need to you know, have more water. I'm not drinking enough water. So that's things that you're accomplishing. As soon as you wake up, you're already accomplishing. You're already conquering. So that's going to reinforce that mindset. And that's going to get you in the mode of executing. So that's that first thing that's going to be done. You're executing. It's a small goals, but these small goals compound. This is going to make you better in general. Because you, well, you, you weren't doing this before. You're waking up. Your bed's a mess. You're waking up 10 minutes before work, rushing out. All the habits that aren't going to lead to the person you want to be. This is going to lead to that person you want to be. It's small. It seems minuscule, but this is huge. This stuff is huge. Small things compound. We always want to think big and big, big, which is good. But we have to do these small things. They eventually compound to these big goals that we want to actually accomplish. So once we do that morning routine, now we actually have to plan the days. So once you plan the days, right, you have to execute this too. You have to actually execute this. So once you have the schedule down, okay, so I'm going to do, this is the thing about, I got to mention this real quickly about school that I wish I picked up on because I'm the, I'm you know, not the school guy. I'm not the guy that's like, I'm, I'm on the fence of like college is like a waste of money unless you're going to be a doctor or lawyer or something like that, which is specifically, you know, if, if you're doing something like that, bro, school is not a waste of money. But if you're not, then eh, it pretty much is, you know, that's how I'm on that side. But the one thing I wish I picked up about school was school. You're in a scheduled environment. Everything is scheduled. You, you got to go to class at 8 a.m. You got to go to class at 9 a.m. You have to do this at 11 a.m. Oh, this is break at 12. Then you go back at 1. Then you do this at 2. 
everything is structured. You have science in the morning, math in the second, you know what I mean? The next class, then you have, and it's structured. Everything is structured. You're learning this for an hour, you're doing for an hour, you're doing that for an hour, this, that, that. That's the one thing I wish I picked up from school was actually structuring my days, having a set schedule of what exactly I'm going to do every hour. Because once you have something that you're going to do every hour for X amount of hours, it makes everything so much easier because you're taking the guesswork out of, oh, should I do this first? Should I do that first? Or what if I do this? Or you forget and then you're like, oh, I should have did this. When you're sitting there and you have three, four or five things to do, right? Let's say you have four or five things to do and you're contemplating or oh, should I do this first or wait, but I, I probably should do this because if I do this, then you know what I'm saying, bro. And then you end up doing very few of the tasks that you had to accomplish. You probably only do two. You might even do none because you're sitting there trying to think, oh, well, this one is better. But if you just had a scheduled thing to where your schedule was going to be, oh, well, I'm going to film. I'm using me as an example, guys. I'm going to film from, I don't know, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Whatever. I'm going to film from 10 a.m. to um, 12 p.m. That's two hours that I'm going to use to film. So I know that within these two hours, I have to hit a certain amount of videos. That's how you get even more specific. I want to make at least four videos, four videos, right? If I make more, great, but I want to hit four videos. So now I'm super focused because now I have a goal. I have a time and I have a goal. 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. That's two hours. In two hours, I'm going to make four videos. You can get even more specific. What type of videos am I going to... Oh, I'm going to make two videos on... You see what I'm saying? The more specific you get, the easier the shit is. The more specific you get on anything, the easier all this stuff becomes. Because you have set goals. Set exact goals. Next thing. From 12 p.m. Oh, shit. For, let's see. From... um, I want to go to the gym. So from... Let's say I only can go for an hour. Gym. It's going to be from downtime whatever so it's gonna put 12 15 to 1 15 gym so in the gym i'm gonna hit a leg day specific it's your split whatever you get what i'm saying i want to go to the gym for an hour i'm going to do this and that when i come back home it's probably going to be 130 140 wherever and then from 140 to this time i'm going to do this obviously there's things that come up in your life that you cannot control we know this but not every single day is there something that you is that you can't control, bro. Not every day is like that. So even if you have a schedule, even if something comes up, you'll still have a schedule to where you can now say, oh, I still got to get this done first. What's my main priorities? What's more important to do today? What, what do I have to do? All this stuff, part of the planning and execution, mostly execution now, because now we're really getting into it with the schedules. Doing this. So that's part of the execution. That's the main thing of the execution. Once you have the schedule, once you have specifically what you're doing every single day, you're going to execute them. You know what I mean? You're going to build that mindset because every time you do this, it's going to keep reinforcing that you're someone that can conquer your goals. You're someone that is moving forward. You're moving forward. And then let's not forget that you actually want to track your progress. You want to track your progress, track progress, because let's be honest. As humans, we all want to see results. We want to see the goals. We want to see the gains. It's the main reason why a lot of people stop besides not being consistent is they stop working out because they see no progress. They don't see the gains or they don't see anything. You got to understand that you're not going to see results off the rip. You're not going to see it. It might take a week. It might take four days, five days, seven, whatever. You're going to see it though. But if you track it, if you take pictures of yourself, you're going to see that your body's changing, bro. It might not be as big as you want. You might think that you're going to look like the rock in two weeks. That's not how it works, bro. But you can clearly see that you're slowly becoming. I was training one of my guys, one of my clients. It was a month in and um, we took the pictures and he's just like, oh, well, it's not as much as I thought. And I'm like, dude, this is a lot. You, this progress is huge. It's just that we're messed up by social media and plus we want everything fast we're thinking that we're gonna have these crazy bodies in a month that's not how it works by month two more progress and by month two he was like okay i low-key i'm seeing this now this is getting a little bigger a little better month three v taper veins all this stuff bro it comes it's this stuff takes time you can't get it in one second or else everyone would have this but that's not how it works bro so you got to track your progress however you want to track it 
write it down. I suggest you write everything down. You know what I mean? Check things off, take pictures, write notes, what you accomplished, whatever, dude. Just find a way to track everything because it's going to make everything better and you're going to actually see the results. And then once you look back, say you did it for three months now, you look back and you're like, oh, okay, I see how I got this. I see how I did that. I see how, you know what I'm saying? All this stuff happens. And part of, well, this is not part of execution, but that's pretty much the execution phase. So now we're going to talk about, I should just, I'm just going to erase this. I'm just going to erase this and write this up here. Comeback. So the comeback. So obviously guys, we're not going to become hermit crabs and done basement dwellers and just literally just be locked in our freaking basement and going hard. You can do that if you want to, but I don't suggest you do. I'm not saying you get rid of everyone. I'm not saying you just don't ever socialize this Part of disappearing is getting rid of the habits, getting rid of toxic people that you feel are holding you back, getting rid of all those things, right? Those things that is hold, do you feel like is holding you back? The video games, the whatever, doing all this stuff, that's disappearing. You're changing your identity. You're changing who you are. You're becoming the person you want to become, right? But when you start doing this and you start seeing the goals or you start seeing the results and you want to emerge back in society, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Um, you didn't really ever leave society, but now you're just more reserved and you're more focused on what you're doing, right? When you start coming back, you need to understand that you can't just pop out like I'm just lit now. You know what I mean? You got to come back slowly because at the same time, you're probably changed as a person. Not that you're changed completely because you're always going to be the person you are, but in terms of now your mindset is better you're probably more mature you're probably you look at things differently maybe the same friends that you have aren't going to be as tight as you were because y'all are on different pages you're just on a different page bro he might be on his party phase or whatever phase that doesn't make him a bad person that doesn't make him anything and it doesn't mean that you have to stop being friends but what it means is it's probably going to be hard to reconnect with that same person the same way you used to because you're just now vibrating on a different wavelength you're on a different frequency and he's just not there yet or he, that's not he's not at that point yet doesn't make him a bad person doesn't make you a bad person it just is what it is eventually he'll get there and eventually it'll be fine or maybe that doesn't even matter maybe you guys can still kick it and whatever but the point is you don't want to fall back right when you come back you don't want to just emerge yourself in all the garbage go back to playing games go back to doing this go back to doing that all the stuff that kept you from actually evolving so when you start coming back you gotta get around people that is on your wave get around people that's on what you're on because once you start getting back with people that's actually doing what you're doing. If you're out here training hard every day, doing this, you don't want to link up with people that are getting high all day and eating shit all day because they're going to start dragging you down. They're going to start dragging you down, bro. It is what it is. So you want to link up with people that are working out like you. You know what I mean? If you're in business that are in business that know something about credit, that know something about money, I don't feel like writing. So you get the point. You're networking. You're basically getting yourself with people that are on the same wavelength or people that are doing better than you, but it's stuff that you actually want to do. It's stuff that you want to learn. You want to learn more about credit. So now you're hooking up with more credit people. You want to learn more financial stuff. So now you're linking with people that are on that tip. You want to do your own business. So now you're linking with people that run their own business that are doing that stuff. Why would you want to link with the people that are doing the exact opposite of what you want to do? It's going to pull you back. It's going to mess you up and it's going to set you back to how you came. You don't want to go back to how you came. And basically, that's how you want to come back. You, you want to reemerge with this new personality, this new identity. It doesn't mean you change yourself completely. You're faking who you are. You're just evolving now. You know what I mean? You're on a different wavelength. You're on a different path. And it is what it is, guys. This is part of improving. This is part of just becoming the becoming what you want to become becoming what you want to become because if you don't then you're going to stay the same it's simple as that and if you don't if you want to stay the same and you're fine you're comfortable then do that this is not to force you or you got to do this you can do whatever you want bro but if you want to level up especially into the new year 2025 you know what i'm saying 
and you really just want to you're, you're tired of being stuck this is basically how you disappear and come back you want to plan you want to develop the mindset and then when you execute your everything's scheduled out you're doing this for an hour you're doing that for an hour whatever it is this and that doesn't mean you have to get rid of everyone you know doesn't mean you have to go turn into a dungeon dweller hermit crab whatever it just means that you're getting rid of distractions if that means you have to stop kicking it with your homeboys for a couple months then it is what it is bro oh you want to go i can't want to do this i can't i gotta go to the gym first oh you want to kick it here i can't, can't bro i can't. Just can't that happened to me i times where i literally for like six, six months i didn't go out at all i didn't go out at all i would get invited all the time hey do you want to do this i can't hey do you friday night no saturday sat sunday nope i can't dude i just can't why not because i'm working on myself oh okay that's it and if they're not rocking with it then they're not then they're not meant to be there anyways because why would they want to um see you stop your your progress bro you know what i'm saying if they're really there for you they'll understand they'll be disappointed that we ah oh, damn he doesn't want to kick it uh, but i get why he doesn't he's trying to do this and do that if you people are really there for you, they'll understand. It'll be like, oh, okay, he's doing this, he's doing that. I, I, I commend him for his hard work. You know what I'm saying? For his determination to actually become something and not be stuck. If they're really rocking with you, they're gonna do something like that. Anyways, that's officially how you disappear and come back successful. And again, guys, this applies to anything. It doesn't have to be what I wrote. These are just simple examples that I um came up with on the top of my head you know what i'm saying the usual things would be fitness you're getting your money up and um you know what i mean a relationship maybe you want that whatever you're doing but like i said planning phase mindset execution and you're coming back slowly so that's it for this video guys pretty long um i'll see you guys in the next one i didn't promote my instagram i just realized Follow me down below, Mac underscore method. Book me on Calendly if you want to join my program. That's it for the video, guys. Like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Gang.